Today is the 10th of April 2021. My name is David Hickson and in today's market update I'm going to be discussing how long we can expect to wait before the peak forms that we are expecting in stock markets around the world. Before we take a look at the markets I must ask you to please make sure that you have read and understood these disclaimers. So let's start our discussion with the S&P 500. I am going to be taking a look at some other markets a little later in today's video. This is the analysis that we have been tracking over many months now. And of course, the important points are that a very big magnitude trough formed in March of 2020, at least a 54 month cycle trough. In my opinion, it could even have been a nine year cycle trough. And as a result, we have seen a bullish market following the formation of that trough. As I have discussed in previous market update videos, we are expecting an 18 month cycle trough to form a little after the middle of this year. In last week's market update, I discussed the fact that markets are now moving up towards a peak. An inevitable question resulted from last week's video, which is when are we expecting that peak to form? I presented one way of understanding when to expect a peak in last week's video by presenting the concept of a zigzag. Before we move on to a discussion of the when, let me quickly present those zigzags again, just to remind ourselves of where in terms of price, the peak could be expected to form. I rushed through this little in last week's video, but here is the target for the 18 month cycle in terms of the peak that we are expecting, which is at a level of almost 4400, as I think you can see. And so according to the 18 month cycle zigzag, we still have some distance to travel. If I add the zigzag for the 40 week cycle, I think you can see we have a lower target there. Here it is, the 40 week cycle zigzag is projecting a target which is not that much higher than prices at the moment, probably about 41.75, that's a bit of a skew line. And finally, let me take a look at the 20 week zigzag. And here we'll need to zoom in a little to see a bit more clearly where that target is. Here you can see the target is just a little above today's price it is at about a level of 41.40. So that gives us an idea of where we can expect the target in terms of price for the S&P 500. But let's speak a little bit about when we can expect this peak to form. In last week's market update, I presented the concept of a peak analysis and we considered when we could expect the peak to form according to the peak analysis. In today's video, I would like to go back to a very powerful way in which we can apply an understanding of Hearst cycles to the markets, and that has to do with cycle shapes. I published a video about this several weeks ago, and I will include a link to that in the description below this video, because I'm not going to spend too long explaining all of the basics. But the way in which we can apply the concept of cycle shapes to understanding when to expect a peak has to do with the M shapes that are formed in the markets as a result of the cycles. And so here is the M shape for the first 40 week cycle that formed a trough at the end of October last year, following the very big magnitude trough in March of last year. Now, in terms of time, we can measure that cycle shape and gauge its bullishness or bearishness by simply counting the number of bars that elapsed within the cycle. And in this case, with the S&P 500, that was 221 bars or 221 days. And then we count the number of bars or days up until the peak forms, which in this case was 164 days. As a result of that, we can gauge what I call the bullishness of the cycle by simply working out the percentage point at which the peak formed. And in this case, this was what I would call a 74% cycle. In other words, it has a 74% bullishness. A 50% cycle would be exactly neutral because it would have a peak at the midpoint, which is very rare. A bearish cycle, of course, would have a percentage of less than 50% because it has an early peak. 
And so the first 40-week cycle that formed following the very big magnitude trough in March of last year was a 74% bullish cycle. How does that help us to project the peak of the next 40-week cycle? It's very simple. We expect the next 40-week cycle to be less bullish than the previous one, simply because of the way in which all the cycles are working together in the nominal model. If you don't understand that concept, I would encourage you to download the 10 Core Concepts document, which explains the way in which all the different cycles work together. And so the current 40-week cycle is presently forming in the markets and it is moving up to form its peak and then it is going to turn down and come down into the 18 month cycle trough. Where would we expect this peak to occur? Well because we expect the current 40 week cycle to be less bullish than the previous one we would expect it to occur before the 74 percent mark. Now, if the current 40-week cycle has exactly the same bullishness, in other words, 74%, then we would expect a peak to occur on the 20th of May. Because we are expecting this cycle to be less bullish, we therefore expect the peak to occur before the 20th of May. And so that is our expectation for the peak of the current 40-week cycle, that it will occur sometime before the 20th of May. Now, the earlier it occurs, of course, the less bullish the cycle will be and the more we will begin to see some bearishness appearing in the market. That is for the S&P 500. I thought it would be interesting to take a look at several other markets and consider when we are expecting the peak to occur in those markets. And so here is the NASDAQ. This is my preferred analysis in the NASDAQ with a 40-week cycle trough at the same place at the end of October and a 20-week cycle trough at the beginning of March. You can see we have quite a neat nest of lows over here for the 18-month cycle trough. When are we expecting the peak? Well, again, applying the same principles, we would expect the peak of the 40-week cycle to occur before the 19th of May. Let's take a look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Here we have exactly the same situation with the troughs and peaks occurring almost simultaneously with the other markets in the U.S., and so we have exactly the same expectation here in terms of about the third week of May. But let's head across to Europe and take a look at the DAX. The DAX is interesting because even though the troughs are in almost exactly the same place as they are in the US markets, the peaks have been occurring at slightly different points, giving us a different calculation for the bullishness of each one of these cycles. Nevertheless, we get a very similar calculation in terms of when to expect the peak, which for the 40-week cycle is expected before the 21st of May. Let's take a look at another market, the FTSE 100. Now, this is particularly interesting because of the fact that the first 40-week cycle that followed the trough in March of 2020 was, in fact, a fairly bearish cycle in terms of time. Notice how the peak occurred early. It occurred before the midpoint of the cycle. However, it was still a fairly bullish cycle in terms of price, which would have us expect an earlier peak for the second 40-week cycle. In fact, the calculation for that peak would have been to have occurred before the beginning of February. Notice this peak over here becomes a potential candidate for this 40-week cycle peak. It looks as if the price is going to form another higher peak, showing the interesting contrast between different stock markets. Even though we have troughs that are forming almost exactly at the same time, the peaks are forming at different times, resulting in different cycle shapes and a slightly different expectation. Although, again, the expectation here is that, of course, an 18-month cycle trough is going to form a little after the middle of this year. And the bullishness of this market has recovered a little in the previous 20-week cycle, indicating that the current 20-week cycle is expected to form a peak before about the 15th of May. And so to summarize, by taking a look at the cycle shapes that have been forming in different stock markets, we can anticipate when we are expecting a peak to occur.
The most likely time, in my opinion, is before about the middle of May. I do hope that you have found this market update interesting. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below the video. I look forward to hearing from you.